So CBC, for this show anyway, tends to be the gift that keeps on giving. Uh, this one was fascinating. Uh, many of you who are on, active on social media and you follow uh, footage of the convoy and other big events in, in the Canadian political sphere, you may know uh, Mocha Bezergen. And I apologize to Mocha for likely butchering his last name. But uh, Mocha used to be at Rebel News. Now he works independently. He's a, a great photographer and videographer. He, he's everywhere. And including Rock. Roxham Road, where he's done tremendous footage. So at some point, he went to Roxham Road and was filming, and a Canadian press photographer got a picture of him walking around. Now, CBC then shows this story in an article about Roxham Road. The headline of the article, Man Dies After Encountering Patrol Agents at Canada-U.S. Border. And there's a picture of our friend Mocha uh, next to a big sign that says, uh, Arrête, stop. Uh, now, Mocha is not actually dead. Uh, and if you look at the caption of the photo, it gets even more concerning because they offer a biographical description of him as being a migrant waiting for transport. <laughs> so uh, they, they've not only killed off Mocha, but they've also taken away his Canadian citizenship of 21 years and made him an illegal. Uh, and, you know, again, is it sinister? No, it sure as heck is lazy, though. Lazy reporting and, you know, the whole issue with Rock, Roxham Road, which I covered while I was at the Toronto Sun before I came to True North, has been a huge um, issue that has filtered into our cities. It's impacted on the city of Toronto, where I make my home. Um, refugees are filling up shelters. Nobody or hardly anybody in the legacy media covers this sort of stuff, but they get into these sideshows that are absolutely ridiculous. It's rather frustrating to see this kind of lazy, uh, inaccurate reporting when, in fact, uh, Roxham Road should be dissected uh, as to the impact on Canada's cities. As I said, in particular, Toronto, I, I think what's happened is that Quebec has diverted a lot of the refugees who are crossing the border illegally and are being allowed to cross the border illegally, I don't understand it at all, now to Ontario. And it's Ontario's problem now. Yeah, and I mean, obviously, the this nonsense about the photo is is a bit of a, a sidebar to the overarching issue. And, and the media, I, I think, has done a tremendous disservice by buying into the government's language of this being irregular migration instead of illegal migration. They refuse to call illegal immigration illegal immigration, which is part of the problem here, because this is about narratives. And you've got the federal government saying on one hand, you know, oh, yes, we're taking this seriously, but it's complicated. And yeah, it's not just as easy as going there and turning people away. But that's exactly what they did during COVID, at least in the earlier part of the pandemic. And now they've just gone back to this being a, a, an open, I don't even think a revolving door because no one's going the other way. It's just a, a one-way red carpet.